Okay, it's time for another episode of Weird Stuff in a Can. Today we've got braised eel. I bought these two tins of braised eel at the Chinese supermarket. Now, full disclosure, I eat this stuff all the time actually and I really like it. So this is weird stuff in a can, but it's kind of not weird to me because I have this quite regularly and I really like it. In fact, one of the things that drew me to this in the first place was just how pretty this can is. They really make an effort to, to make these cans look nice and decorate them. And do you know what? If there were more products like that on the UK shelves that had painted up cans that could be repurposed maybe as something else, do you know what? I'd buy them even if I didn't like the contents. Because here's a thing I made out of two of these braised eel cans. And this is a little travelling spice kit that I use when I'm cooking away from home. So if I'm going camping or if I'm going out on a a foraging trip where I'm going to be cooking outdoors. I just take a few herbs and spices in this little can and then that goes in my rucksack. Anyway, on with the show. So, braised eel, which one should we open? I think we'll probably open this one today. They're quite similar inside. Let's get a plate. Now, they are pull tab open things, but I despise these pull tab cans. Uh, just break your fingernails on that and also it then leaves a sharp rim inside the can. So I'm going to use a can opener even though it's not prescribed for this product. It does can opener does work okay with square cans as you can see it goes all the way around the edge and I do that because that makes the can then available for me to reuse. Now I've got a big stack of these empty cans so very soon, oh look at that, very soon we're going to be doing another project based on these empty cans. So watch out for that. So let's have a look at the braised eel. As you can see, it's very um, eel-like. So there we go. That's, that's actually the spinal column of the eel coming out there. Now these are little soft bones, a bit like you get in pilchards or sardines. Perfectly edible. My preference is not to eat, not to actually eat the bones, but they are just crunchy and, and fairly sort of innocuous. Anyway, let's have a look at the eel meat that we get in this can. So. We get all the, these pieces like this, and look at this little tail. Mm, doesn't that look nice? Eva, you can't have this. So, it smells really quite fishy, as tinned fish tends to do. So let's have a a little look at this. What? So the these bone pieces, they do just pull straight out without too much trouble, and just can, they can be discarded. Mm. So let's have a little taste. No, you can't have it either. It's very, very meaty. The texture is... I would say the texture is a bit like corned beef, actually. It's, it's quite um, dry and meaty texture. This is actually very spicy. It's got some chilli in it, um, which is good. The flavour, I would say, although you can taste it's a little bit fishy, I would say if you like crispy fried duck, you'd probably like this. So I'm going to save the rest of this. I'm going to cook up some ramen noodles and a few little bits of vegetables. And I'm going to make myself a dish of roast eel with vegetables and noodles. So, so I've just got some oil in a pan here, a bit of red pepper, a bit of onion. I've got my hot and spicy ramen noodles. Um, and we'll just give that a little bit of a soak in there. Not too much liquid because it's going to go into the frying pan. Get some greens in there. This is actually just cabbage greens. My ramen noodles are soft now, so we'll have them in the pan as well. And we'll also use that bit of sauce that was in the can of eels. Just going to simmer that around and reduce that sauce down a tiny bit. My noodles go into the bowl. My roast eel, probably enough there really for two people, but never mind. 
I've taken out all the little bones and set them aside, so we'll just serve that on top like that. So let's go and give this a proper taste. So here we go, weird stuff in a can. This is roast eel with ramen noodles. Mm. That's actually really rather delicious. Mm. Thanks for watching this episode of Weird Stuff in a Can, and I hope to see you again soon.